So hello there, what you can see here are the larvae of Lucanus cervus cervus from a breeding project, a research project about the life cycle of Lucanus cervus cervus. Just came out of this box, if you want to see how I kick it out, go to the German uh, channel about Lucanus cervus cervus and you will see it. This was a pair in here, 16 May 15, seven months ago, I placed a pair, 7, 37 millimeter female, 67 millimeter male, uh, into this box. Now that's, and at the bottom of the box is a, is a layer of clay, and then I put some white rotten wood, and of course some kind of earth material, but the earth material that is produced uh, from this mass is of larvae that I found. So, but now I have to uh, 32 now at the moment, all in the L3 stage. It's around uh, between six and eight grams after only seven uh, months that they are in here. So, and now we have to give them some new food. What we do, we can of course, that's what they always like, add just white rotten wood pieces into the substrate. That's what they really like. And I have a lot of this material here. Two more blocks of, of white rotten wood. And if you want, you can add also some flake soil material. That's always nice because it's not too uh, wet. This can help dry the substrate a little bit. And also this kimchi material, this old one, is perfect for them because it's exactly what they need. Kimchi is nothing else than white rotten wood, artificially uh, produced white rotten wood. And then, uh, so this box is filled with new material that they can eat. I of course put some of the old material on top also. They can, they can oh, minus the earthworms if I can. That's one of the biggest pests in our breeding process is the, the earthworms. So it would be a good job to tell us breeders what we can do if we want to get rid of the earthworms without uh, using chemicals or poisons or, or whatever, just be in a good uh, method. That is also easy to do. And then I put one, two, fifteen of them I put here, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Also, if we find them in winter, that's a clear sign that um, they will come out next year. And next year before the winter time. Because mostly. Mode, they start pupating at the end of summer, but also I've seen in my last breeding processes that they already started um, making a pupa from around June on. And I was wondering why that, because they could have used the time till the winter to gain more uh, body weight or something like that, but, but they didn't. Everything Every larva went into pupation at around June. So I need a second box now for them. I have one down here that is already prepared. It already has white rotten wood in it. And that's exactly the place where we put now the other larvae that we have. And you can watch here how they sit down into the substrate. You have to pay attention that they don't kill each other. That's what they try to do here. So if sometimes if they are packed too close uh, to each other, they start 
biting not only themselves but also they start biting the other larvae that are in the substrate. But of course not uh, in free nature because they can communicate with each other in the substrate by uh, producing vibrations and the hairs on the body they are also here to record these kind of uh, vibrations in the substrate so they can communicate and they know although they are completely hidden in the substrate they know where the other larvae are wonders of nature huh? interesting thing that they can communicate inside a compact substrate by vibrating the surrounding material and sending these vibrations to the other larvae that are close to them yeah that's it some of the old material on top and that's it so next year of course um, around I would say from uh, now this year from around May on uh, we should have a look in there again to see whether they have enough food uh, to go on with their process. They should be at the end if they are really big males they can get up to 25 grams females mostly they stay around 10 12 grams maximum. So stay tuned here in that beetle breeding channel if you want to know what's going on subscribe to the channel then you get an email every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.